Hey guys, I'm back, and I am going to be doing level 6 right now. This part, you know, as, as I said before, can be really very challenging if you don't have a sword. Now the reason for this is because of these guys called Wizrobes. You may have heard of them. Now, let's see. Fire doesn't hurt them. So, yeah, we can't really do anything against these guys. And I don't want to mess with anything else in that room, so... Just make our way. Alright, those guys can't really hurt you as long as you're careful. Alright, uh... Yeah, I'll kill these things. I mean, this part's not necessary, but uh, what, do, what do these guys drop? Compass. Yes, I know that the boomerang is better for this, but... Oh, there you go. Well, I still got through without getting hurt. Just keep moving through this room. You'll be fine. Now, okay, here's where it gets tricky. That door just closed behind me, so I can't get back out. The door in front of me is also closed, so I can't get through there. So I have to fight my way out of this room. This is why I want to have my full complement of bombs right here, right now. So here's my 16 bombs. Like I said, I'm going to need every one of these, and even then, I'm st even if I use every one of these, I still might die. So, yeah, here goes everything. God, I'm gonna... Uh, here goes what I've got. Okay. Now, treat these guys... Oh, gosh! Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of trickier than the Dark Nuts, because... Shoot! Because these guys can teleport around. Their paths aren't as easy to predict. Oh, and watch out for those like likes because they're gonna steal your shield. Okay, uh... Stopwatch. Okay, I got really lucky that they all piled up on top of each other like that. That's almost, that's almost, that almost never happens. But that's pretty much the only way you're going to be able to get through this. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to switch over to my candle. Yeah, don't... Yeah, I mean... Wow, I just got extremely lucky there. Yeah, don't ever count on that happening. Like, I mean, yeah, stopwatches... I mean, I, I was just thinking, okay, well, you know, stopwatches aren't going to help you in a pinch, but right there, just by sheer luck, they did. I mean, the only way you're going to get through this level without dying is for them to pile up on top of each other like that, and or for something to drop bombs. So, that's really, really unlikely to happen. Alright, now in this room there are even more of these things. Okay, now you can see that, alright, actually let me get my bombs out. I'm just gonna say, do not go to that. No uh, do not go to the room above you, to the north or whatever, because there's a Gleok in there, and you'll get locked in with him. There's no way out because you're locked in, and you have no way of fighting him yet, because we don't have the magical rod. So that is suicide. Do not go through that open door. Okay, now we blew a hole in the in the wall, so we can go through there. Shoot! Oh, these guys do. Yeah, these guys do some pretty heavy damage. Okay, now right here. I mean, at least our magical shield can deflect their attacks. That's the one thing we have going for us. Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, I like the red candle because I can, because I can burn things. Map. Sure, why not? Okay, here we go. More with robes. So we're gonna get out our bombs. Yeah, wait for them to phase in, and then you can sometimes get them to land on top of your bombs. So yeah, like right now. Okay, there we go. I'm down to four bombs, but... I kill these wizard robes at least. They're not dropping any bombs, so I'm, it's still likely that I'm going to not survive this. 
But even so, I'm going to leave that in anyway. I mean, because I haven't died at all before, so... Uh, you know... It's mainly just because I've, pra you know, I've practiced this a couple of times. The first time I played through this... Oh gosh, I, you know, I died so many times in here. It was insane. I mean, I spent so much time just trying to figure out... Well, okay, you know, uh, if I have this number of bombs, how far can I go? And I had to look up the map and I said, okay, well, I have, you know, this many whiz robes. It's, you know, like, you know, 15 or 18 or something whiz robes, and some of them are blue. Those are going to take at least two bombs to kill, as I showed earlier. So, I mean, I have, you know, at most, at, I have 16 bombs that I can carry in here. So, I mean, I have to, you know, get an average of better than one kill per bomb. And that's going to require me to have them stacked up on each other like they were before. That almost never happens. I mean, look at the size of the room. It's, what, like 11 by 11 or something by 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, it's like a... I mean, I'm, here I am counting this thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12 by... Alright, it's 12 by 7. So, and then, I mean, yeah, then there are these blocks in the middle, but... Yeah, there's, I mean, there's almost no, there, the probability is really small that they're all going to be within a, within the radius of a bomb blast. Okay, so now, ah, where do I go? Okay, shoot, where do I go from here? Alright, is it this one? Yeah, and I can't, and... Shoot, where am I? Shoot. If I... Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay, well, even if that hadn't happened, I mean... I'd still probably end up dying because... I mean, let, let, at least let me kill these things. Yes, I know I could be using my boomerang. I know. I end over here. See, whoa! They're already opening fire. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have had enough bombs to kill them uh, anyway. Game over. Alright, continue. So there you go, I I finally died. So I know I was doing really well before, but... Yeah, in, in this place there's just almost no way uh, of getting out without dying. It's just really challenging. Even if I hadn't been getting hit so much, I wouldn't have had enough bombs to take all of those guys out unless they stacked up on each other again or if one of them miraculously happened to drop bombs. So, I mean, that's just really not likely to happen. I'd be much more likely to run out of bombs first. And, yeah, then, then I'd be stuck because I couldn't go back out and get more bombs because, as I pointed out earlier, one of those rooms, the door locks behind you and the only way to get out is by killing the whiz robes in there. So, you know, I mean, so once you get to that room, you can't go back unless you kill the wizrobes. Doing that requires bombs, so you say, okay, well, I have to push forward. But when you push forward, then there are other things you have to fight, and even to get to the boss, it's going to take more bombs. So what I'm going to need to do right now is go gr I mean, I'm going to need to go get money again. I know I said I wouldn't do another grinding video, but, well, it looks like I don't have much of a choice because I need rupees in order to get bombs. But I mean the good thing now is that when I go I mean when I go back there again, I'm not going to have to go uh, kill those other wizard robes before the uh, whoa, before this magical rod. So at least then, you know, I wouldn't have as much to worry about. Okay, now that I are now that I have the magical rod, I'm perfectly happy with grinding in this area for rupees. I right, hit him four times. Yeah, I don't want to get killed here, because I'm pretty weak. Keep track of which one is the real ghost. Should just kill what you can. Yeah, these guys are really good for drops. Oh, shoot. Oh, and it went
went away. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna. I only have a couple. I have another couple of seconds here, so. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna end the video here. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. See you in the next video. Bye.